very satisfied watching the book of kings, the first book of kings. of kings and then Donaya is kind of ragged to build me himself saying I will be king make me prayer by himself okay we have four kind of pictures of the one before him and his father had a very beautiful him and his men saying why you did that so he's also very good looking his mother had born him after Absalom and he can serve of the son of Zeruiah, and that by Abner, the priest, the father of Abner and Daniah. Adam, the priest, Daniah, the son of Zephaniah, God, Daniah, the prophet, Daniah, the priest, and the mighty man, King David, were not without Daniah. Daniah sacrificed sheep and oxen, fed and cattle by the stone of Johanan, which is by Anne. Oja, he also invited like his brothers, the king, and all the men of Judah, the king's servant. But he didn't invite Nathan the prophet, Benaiah the mighty man, and Solomon his brother. And Nathan spoke to Bathsheba, the mother of Solomon, saying, Why have you not heard that Benaiah the son of Haggad has become king? And David our Lord does not know it. Let me now give you advice that you may save your own life, the life of your son Solomon. Go immediately to King David and save him. And should not my lord a king swear to your maid servant, saying, As surely your son Solomon shall reign after me for sitting on my throne. Why then has Anaya become king? And while you're still talking there with the king, was the command after you confirm your words. So Bathsheba went to the chamber of the king. Now the king was very old, and the Abishag was in a mind and sick of the king. And Bathsheba bowed and did the homage to the king. So Bathsheba wished. The king said to him, My lord, you swore by the Lord your God to your maidservant, to your servant, and to tell me your son after me to sit on my throne. Now look, Adonai has become king, and now my lord the king need not know about it. He has sacrificed oxen and fed and cattle and sheep and bodies, and he has invited the sons of the king, of the other the priest, but some servant he has not invited. And as for you, my lord or king, the I Israel on you. And you should tell them you should sit on my on the throne of my lord the king after him. Otherwise it would happen when my lord the king arrests with his father, that I and my son Solomon will be counted as offenders. Just then while she was still talking with the king, Nathan the prophet also came in and called the king saying, Here is Nathan the prophet before the king, he bowed down before the king with his face to the ground. Nathan said, My lord, king, have you said that the knights that ran after me for sitting on my throne? For he has gone down today, he has sacrificed oxen, fed and cattle, and sheep in abundance, and he has invited all the king's sons with the commanders of the army to gather the priests and look. They were eating and drinking before him. They say, Long live King Adonaiah. But he has not invited me, me your servant, nor Zadok the priest, nor Benai the son of Jehoiada, nor your servant Solomon. Has this thing been done by my lord the king? He has not called your servant to sit on the throne of my lord the king after him. They 
Bet answered and said, Call but Sibel to me, for he who came the king's presence came before the king. The king took an oath and he said to the Lord, Live, to redeem my life from every distress, just as I swore to you by the Lord God of Israel, saying, I surely will follow me your son. But the king answered me, He came on my throne, my place, and I said, Let me do it today. And but Sheba bowed with her face to the earth and paid homage to the king and said, Let my lord, King David, live forever. David said, Call to me Jarak the priest, Nathan the prophet, and Benaiah the son of Jehoiah. Therefore the king before the king. The king also said to them, Take this with you, the servant of the Lord, and have come on my throne, ride on my own mule, and sit down to Jehoiah. Then let Jadak the priest, and Nathan the prophet, anoint him king over Israel, and blow the horn, and say, Long live King Solomon. Then shall come up after him, shall come and sit on my throne, he shall be king in my place. For you have appointed him to be a ruler over Israel and Judah. Benaiah the son of Jehoiada answered the king and said, Amen. May the Lord God of my Lord the King say so too. As the Lord has been with my Lord the King, even so he be with Solomon, make his throne greater than the throne of my Lord King David. So Zadok the priest, Nathan the prophet, Benaiah the son of Jehoiah, the Cherethites, and the Pelethites went down, they had Solomon ride at King David's mule and took him to. Uh, Gehon. Then Zadok the priest took a horn of oil from the tabernacle and anointed Solomon and then blew the horn and the people said, Long live King Solomon. <laughs> and all the people went up with after him and the people played the flutes and rejoiced with great joy so that the earth seemed to split with their sound. And now and then, Amen. Up to 40, verse 40. David, the servant of the Almighty King, God, who according, according to his foreknowledge, he knew that David would do all the will of God because he would always perform the will of God according to his heart. He put in his heart something, something that is indeed very serious for every one of us to build a temple of God according to the will of God. He said that to Nathan. Nathan the prophet, who was a friend of David. Do whatever God has put in your heart and whatever you would do, God would bless it and favor it. But as Nathan was leaving the presence of King David after he told him this, God visited Prophet Nathan, rebuked him, and told him, go back to King David and tell him that David is a man of of blood, they shed a lot of blood during your war you have conducted, all the warfare you have been involved with. The, but you would have a son whose name is going to be Solomon, which his name means peace. You are going to He's going to build your my temple and Solomon. David heard this. And after some time, David felt the greatest sin, the sinfulness. And he committed murder. God, though, uh, even though he committed adultery and the first son by the woman of um, uh, that was in he Bathsheba uh, was uh, passed away and then as God forgave him for his sin 
David uh, David uh, took an oath that Solomon was going to become the king and years went by and God visited David and now God came Uh, let's go to I believe first chronicles uh, 22 verse 6 first chronicles 22 verse 6 then he called for his son Solomon charged him to build a house for the Lord God of Israel and David said to Solomon my son as for me it was my mind to build a house in the name of the Lord my God but the word of the Lord came to me, saying, You have shed much blood, you have made great wars. So now build a house for my name, because you have shed much blood on the earth in my sight. Behold, a son shall be born to you, shall be a man of rest. We give him rest from all his enemies all around. His name shall be Solomon, who will give peace and quietness to Israel in his days. He shall build a house for my name, he shall be my son, who will be his father, who will establish the throne of his kingdom over Israel forever. Now, my son, may the Lord be with you, and may you prosper and build the house of the Lord your God, as he said to you. So all the environment, the family of David, knew that King Solomon had a main mission to build a house, was Solomon was going to build a temple. And indeed, he was born. But now, our subject today is we're going to address today Adonai, who, by the firstborn right, uh, has the right, by the law of Moses, to be the king or the kingly tradition was at least to for the firstborn to become the king now um, as we see later solomon was very young at the time and he, when he became a king later on he was only 18 years old very young Adonai was uh, very, it was good looking in, a, in his appearance. And his dad never stopped him from asserting the right for him to become a king. And at some point when David became aged and old and advanced in years, and he was in absolute weakness, the word of God says, there was you know uh, to do most of us now there is an issue there is an issue of pride at some point it will it will manifest itself maybe it wasn't it may express itself later on this is how it just like in Adonai, in one moment, in knowing, in knowing his dad was an absolute weakness and his dad would not stop him or rebuke him. He thought that his dad was uh, appreciated him and approved his actions for him to become a king. And as he said, I would reign on his own. And this was this was a result of the pride of his heart and spirit of Adonai and with human wisdom he called
he called the he had a great feast he presented himself and with human just as the person who needed to be um, he needed to be the king or oh, it was his right and his prerogative but God forgets the reasoning <coughs> in but God is going to fulfill his own will no matter no matter when it's beautiful when we always submitted to the will of God to it's beautiful when we have a heart because in our pride and we're going to find ourselves against God and God is, is gonna, how beautiful it is to be to walk with Christ and especially if we f be with him and how horrible it is to be And he led him. And now God is going is gonna intervene with his servant Nathan. As a as Adonai did not invite to his um um I did not invite Nathan the prophet to come to his celebration of announcing his status of ascendance to the uh, to the throne neither did he call Solomon uh, even because he knew that God had predestined Solomon to become the king and now the word of God is is going to evolve and by by the direction of the Lord with direction by the Lord because without direction with the Holy Spirit the human will when it gets expressed itself and God and the Word of God is always uh, exhorts us to watch how we build our lives, everything, his house, his family. If he builds with, with gold, silver, and with uh, with imperishable internal material, his his work is going to be tested. But he's not going to be burned. But. And with human justice, if a person builds with perishable material, if somebody with builds with perishable material, And maybe the person who builds with perishable material will be saved as through fire. And as God now uses Nathan and visited Bathsheba, your life and the son of uh, the life of your son are a risk. Don't you know that Ad Adonai is announcing himself? And announce himself that he's going to reign and sit on the throne of uh, his father. Let me advise you now what you need to do, dear brethren. Who advises you, brethren? Who advises you? From whom do you receive advice? The word of God says, I, the Lord, 
would I the Lord I will teach you the path that you go through and not and I the advocate the Holy Spirit will, will give you counsel if the Holy Spirit does not advise does not offer you counsel the results are gonna be good if or if for a human reasoning the results are going to be a disaster because our work is going to be tested with fire this let us pay attention your work will be tested with fire in the latter days watch out how you build and watch out how how you because we are building on top on the rock that is the Lord Jesus Christ and his word there is no one that his work is not going to be tested with fire and now we need to be untended with the humble spirit don't forget this with a contrite spirit and tr trembling with the word of God uh, and ruled and led by the Holy Spirit and then our life will be in would dwell in safety now go and tell to King now go to King David and tell him his weakness that didn't you promise me that my son would be king but don't you see that Adonai he's um, announcing and celebrating and he is inviting his own initiative people to ascend on his throne by his own It's not enough that your word comes in. My word will also testify to yours and will come. Now, they went to the presence of David. Now, as they went to David, they invited to come uh, they invited David to come to the presence of Bathsheba and Nathan now the second characteristic is who invites you to come to Kisavetish who sends messengers messengers in order to invite you as the father of line and pride Is that the Lord? We need to be very careful. I wish I could tell, I could convey to you how careful we need to be in these latter days. What the Lord was saying stay alert and pray. Because the Lord is very clear. Watch out how you listen listen hear listen to how you who who presents to you watch out who advises you in the latter days things are not a superficial thing Stay alert and pray. No. Adonai. Uh, he took a by Abi other on his side who was led astray and he shouldn't have gone to the presence of Adonai. All these things 
the Lord the offenses is going to come no matter what no matter what somebody's going to come to offend you with his words with his proposition with his with his perspectives uh, why does the Lord offer why does the Lord allow offenses to be present at the church study to become approved to God because then we'll become this bond servant unashamed because then he will fulfill the word of God and the the will of Adonai uh, failed and all who led he led astray he led them to their death and perdition even though they knew the truth even though they m even if they even if they had not known the truth they never asked ahead of time the Lord remember Joshua When some people came from the um, Gibeonites came and said, oh, "We are from came from far away," and they told them they f deceived them that they were far away and they were famished because of the distance. If you ask the Lord, the Lord is not going to let you. If you don't ask the Lord, you're going to make a mistake. But if you ask, it will be with well and say, "The Word of God says, ask me." because only the Lord is able us misses the word of God because only God knows the future we don't know the future after this wall we don't know what's happened With five cents, the person is working. What are you seeing? Your five cents is you uh, process your the world, and the mind that comes to con conclusion because we are afraid. If you don't manage to submit your body, you're gonna find yourself unapproved. May the Lord. Keep it safe. The advice of the Lord is watch out, pray, and stay alert, and ask the Lord in every detail. Don't be certain about anything in your life. Always call upon the name of the Lord, Jesus. Ask for the blood of Christ. By the name of Christ and the blood of Christ. Because that, uh, 